Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I will be unboxing the Hero Quest, the Mage of the Mirror Quest Pack. Um, another expansion for the Hero Quest game system, um, which I believe is the Elf. Like originally, it was like called like the Elf Quest Pack, like years back when it was the first time it was released, but. Uh, of course, if we want to come and take a look, it's going to be all updated, uh, including with furniture, which I'm pretty certain didn't have before. And we'll look at this furniture. It's nothing new, but all looks new. So this time around, they have it's like a sleeve. Okay, that's why I kind of guessed. So, as a sleeve here, that included like part of the front art. So it has all the components on the back, and instead it has a different actual sort of back of box look. But uh, front of the box looks the same. <laughs> so we can open this up. Flyer for the app to let a digital Zargon guide you through HeroQuest. Um, I don't use that. I'm Zargon. <laughs> As you can find if you check out uh, Jade Kind Gaming Presents The Observatory, where on that channel we've been going through. <laughs> we basically went through the first game. So, uh, components. Component one. Cardboard tile sheet. It's multiple. Um, so, more markers to mark damage, um, we have plenty of those, we have this sort of elf maiden, a key, a potion, um, what looks like wolves, trap doors, a pile of loot, some pits, and sort of a, a little cracked passage, or I guess this is like a crack, I don't know, these are the actual spaces where you could designate movement. Anyways, different room. On this side, another different room. It looks kind of fancy. Um, some more solid walls. We have those. Um, a little minor. Um, solid walls, pits, trap doors, and more bits of just sort of loot. And those were the same on either side. Um, yeah, that just looks like equipment, or maybe that marks like where equipment is dropped or something. I don't know. We have another tile sheet, um, which includes another stairway, which we obviously already have. But I guess if ever you want to have two in a game, um, we have a wall that I believe like folds. Yeah, it's cut along here, but not along here. So it will like, I'm going to take this out so I'll kind of try and show you what it actually does. <laughs> like usually I just leave them in there until I need them, but this one is done differently because it goes 3D. So these kind of just bend at an angle so it'll stand up. Big old mirror surface seems crucial to the plot. Anyways, we have some, I don't think they're the Dragon Balls, but uh, one, two, three, and four stars in there. Uh, sort of a crystal orb, and then mirrors with either the Maiden or a bow, which are empty on the other side, and the not Dragon Balls are the same on either end. Anyways, the mirrors, also obviously, like, there's got to be some sort of stand that these fit in, which was common in the old game, when that's how all the doors worked. But uh, they still decided to do it on here so they could have printed imagery, I guess. We have our Mage in the Mirror quest book, which has our alchemist shop, the contents, um, the component descriptions. They're sky orbs, not Dragon Balls, of course. Um, new type of door. Here's the example that I showed of how that works. The the Sanctum Wall. Oh, that pit was quicksand, of course. 
Let's see, mirrors with spans. Um, sort of how to how to do things within the quest, any special rules, things like large monsters. I've seen that before. Turning heroes into werewolves. Okay then. Our message for mentor. The the guide. And then, you know, the quests. Um two three. Okay. So the first three of the quests are solo quests, which I think are just for the elf in this one. And then it goes into group quests beyond that. Um, and then 9 and 10 are a double quest. So that's like, as in like two sections of board. Um, anyways, don't want to spoil too much with that, but... Um, and then we have a little monster reference at the back. Um... And all the new icons for building your own quest adventures with the new stuff that's in here. So, that is our Mage of the Mirror quest book. And here are the little um, stand bits. So if I take one of these, it just slides right in. And that way that mirror can stand up. So there are two of those for the two little cardboard mirrors. Uh, otherwise, mm, let's start with the cards. And we have the elf. So should be the same, but I guess a new art for the elf. Then we have monster cards. For the Elven Archer, which has special, special roles. Uh, okay, because they're better at shooting further away. <laughs> Giant Wolf, which seems to take up extra space. Elven Warrior. And Ogres. Uh, let's see here. We have Artifacts. Some extra elf stuff in there, it seems. We have more dread spells to spell. Mind Blast, Mirror Magic, Reanimation, Restore Dread, Summon Wolves, and Werewolf's Curse. Mm. So, some dread magic. And then, let's see. Uh -oh. That's interesting. We have treasure, so potion, cloak. Hmm. You could use the cloak a few times. Wolf Spain. So extra things for the treasure deck. Then we have. Elf spells. So, I don't know what new rule it has for elves with magic, because before, the elf just got second choice of one of the elemental, um, you know, spell bits. So, they have their own magic now. And then equipment are the uh, different potions. Recall, speed, vision, Superior Restoration, so, different potions. And, uh, Curiosity got the better of me. Updated spell system. The elf may choose um, to use this spell group of, there are eight different spells, and the elf just gets to choose three of them for a quest. And if they do, the wizard just chooses one of the elemental types not to have, so... Yeah, so it's, it's just different different option where the elf, instead of 
choosing from the same group as the wizard gets to choose three of the eight and obviously therefore be a lot more specialized in what they get to choose to do. Interesting. And going into the minis, let's start with our elf. So, wonderful sculpt again. Um, if you've not seen, the way that I've tended to do these is I will, I like to leave them the main color, but I'll do like a, a wash to darken some of the, the indents and then like a dry brush on top to just make the sculpt pulp, but you know, pop, but overall leave the same general color. I've been pretty pleased with doing it that way. And we have our Elven Archmage, which I feel like is probably like our villain or something for this set. And this lovely blue color. Quite nice. We have two each of two different Elven um, Archer sculpts. Yeah, obviously, turned different ways. But also, it looks like a male and female sculpt on there. Also, in the lovely blue color. And we have two each uh, again. Same differences for elven warriors. So. so. Very pretty. And we get a couple of the bookcases as we get into furniture. And the thing about furniture is it was not in the original elf quest pack. There's no difference. Like mechanically between like this bookshelf and the bookshelf in the main game it just looks different it's like an elven design same with say the weapon rack you know it's got fancy weapons on it it's it's mechanically the same as the weapon rack in the base game the thing is they just did kind of different sculpts on them um, so it's just variety visually Mechanically, it's the same. Got the fireplace here, and I'd, I'd seen people asking them, like, hey, are you going to do new furniture? And I suppose, as they've not yet gotten into completely new quests, um, this is a way to start doing new furniture in the existing quests, is just do the existing furniture with a new look. I thought that was a pretty good idea. There are not, though, dice in this set like there were in the uh, Barbarian one. So here is sort of a tomb with a new sculpt on it. it. It feels slightly bigger than the other one. And our alchemist desk. Fairly similar, but slightly different from core game. There are three of these treasure chests, which feel like they're a little, you know, taller and squatter. So I mean, they're definitely, yeah, you know, and they have the vine look on them. Definitely a bit of a different feel, but yeah, it works. It's just variety. There is a elven throne, which has sort of antlers and vines and such carved into it. We have our wooden door, um, because the expansions often use doors for entrances and exits to a dungeon. But this one is obviously elven themed with its vines and such. We have our iron door, which again feels different than some of the ones we've seen in the past. They've done new sculpts. There are thorny vines around the edges, which are spiky and a little painful. <laughs> 
and there are four portcullises, which I've not seen. I'm not sure what the rules specific are, but it's just a different type of door that some adventurers will use. There is also a weird empty area in the packaging, like where it's just like, it's, this space not used. <laughs> um, we get four ogres, which are same little, you know, standard size base, but uh, definitely feel a little tall compared to a hero. A little brutish. And that's in sort of the gray material like we've seen before. And we have three giant wolves, which are double space. So that's why there are larger monster rules in this one. We have our giant wolf sculpt. And that is the contents herein. Um, it's exciting to keep getting new uh, quest books, expansions. Um, right now I'm in between, you know, I've finished, you know, for me personally, I've finished the first, like, core game and am preparing to jump into the first of the expansions um, with the game myself, and that is fun. And just seeing some of the stuff that comes up, because obviously the core game is, is basic rules, and then, and you know, the, the first couple of expansions expand a little bit on some of the stuff that can be done. But, like, you know, as they get further on, like with this pack and the, what was it, the Frozen Horror or whatever, where you get the larger creatures and, and things like that, that's, you know, even more variety in what is being done with the, with the game, with the rules. Um. But yeah, so that is the Mage of the Mirror. Um, I will link down below where you can pick it up online. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.